Hi everybody, my name is Barry, I'm here at Rimmer's Music and today I bring you this. This is the brand new, fantastic Yamaha PSR E473 keyboard. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick run through, a demonstration of what you can expect when you get this keyboard. It is absolutely brilliant. If you've not seen it already, do check out my unboxing video that I've also done for this. Certainly worth a watch. Um, without further ado, let's dive straight in, listen to some sounds, and first of all, as usual, let's kick off with the piano voice. So the piano sound is now called the Live Concert Grand Piano. It is a better quality sound. These speakers are absolutely excellent. They really are brilliant. As well as this concert piano voice, I thought I'd mention now, we have a new feature here called, well, one of the new features, there's loads, but one of the new features here called Mega Boost. Mega Boost seems to boost all of the frequencies. It gives you an extra depth to the sound, uh, I'm going to demonstrate it to you now. You've just heard the standard grand piano sound. Let's hear that sound without Mega Boost and then with Mega Boost. There's two different versions of it. And see for yourself or hear for yourself what the difference is. There are loads of fantastic features in this E473 keyboard. Uh, one of them is this motion effect button here. It's a blue button on the top left hand side of the keyboard. And it literally does as it says. It gives motion to your sounds and your styling. And when you're playing, pressing that button, it just makes the sound fade all, all around you. It's really impressive. And you will hear me using that throughout the course of the demonstration. You can also change the effect type as well. There's loads of different effect types as well. Um, what else have we got? We've got this articulation with a big blue button on the left hand side. Reminds me of the Yamaha Tyros, that was a flagship keyboard, top of the range. And that used to have articulation as well. And what it did it does is, if you're playing for example a saxophone sound, if you press the articulation button, it'll give you that growl effect that you get when you're playing a saxophone. And it, it changes the articulation depending on the sound. Some sounds it'll be a modulation, other sounds it might be a guitar that gives you the harmonics when you're playing. And it's really, really useful. And you'll also hear me demonstrating that as well. What else have we got? Um, on the right hand side here, quick sampling. Four quick sampling buttons. They're fantastic. You can plug an MP3 player or a microphone into the back. Quickly record what you're doing into the quick sampling. Press the button. Play it back while you're playing your, set, your songs. It's absolutely brilliant. And you'll hear that as well later on. And what else? Oh yes, let's not forget this. This is the new... Uh, category selection for its for sounds and for your style it's brilliant it used to have a little numeric keypad there in fact some keyboards we still do um, and you type a number in corresponding to the sound that you want based upon a list on the left or the right this you don't do that if I want a piano sound I press the piano button if I want a string sound I press the string button and there are sounds within that category so you don't have to type numbers in anymore you can literally just press the category use this little wheeler to select the voice that you want and it's dead fast, it's dead easy as well, which is brilliant. And it also works with the style button as well. You select the styles in the same way. You've got a list of sounds at the top and a list of styles underneath. So that is a new selection screen and it is absolutely brilliant. Let's not forget, portable grand piano, one touch, whatever you're doing, press that button, it goes straight back to the grand piano. Now one other thing before we move on, I'll just tell you this octave button is on the panel and it also doubles as a transpose. 
So if you're playing a, a, a song and you think, oh, I want to knock the octave down or up, you just press a button. Some keyboards, you have to go into a function menu and start navigating through those. If you don't with this, dead easy. It's on the panel. One button, press, down an octave, up an octave. Press a shift button, same button, transpose, really easy. So let's move on. Have a listen to some of the sounds and then after that we'll go into the style. So sounds first, see what you think. So that's just a small selection of the hundreds of sounds that this keyboard's actually got. I, I can't go through all of them, it took me all day, but I'll let you do that when you pick one up. Uh, let's move on now, have a listen to some of the styles. The styles in this are absolutely phenomenal, they really are. They've elevated, Yamaha have elevated all of the style creation, they've put new technology in with the voices, uh, there's far more detail in the backing styles as well, uh, you'll hear it for yourself. So. Let's get straight in, see what you think.
for now, I think that that about wraps it up. Um, it's by no means an exhaustive list of what this keyboard is capable of. There are so many more features in there. I just don't have the time to physically go through all of them for you, unfortunately. However, we do get this keyboard up. We do have it on our website at the moment. Click the link in the description below. Like and subscribe to this, as everybody does say, uh, for it does really help. And keep watching, keep looking at our channel because I will be doing some how-to videos on this keyboard very shortly or as soon as I can. So until next time, my name's Barry and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye now.